Hi Lazazelle and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Today I thought we would do something fun which would be a get ready with me holiday eye tutorial and a little chit chat and all that good stuff. So if you want to know more about that hit the subscribe button, share this video so somebody think might like it and let's do it. Alright you guys so just remember to stay to the end because today is another day of my 12 days of giving and how to enter will be at the end of the video. So today I thought we would walk through a fun holiday tutorial. I'm like so excited to get into back to doing makeup and just having a good time. So I'm going to start with some skin prep because you guys always ask me how I prep my skin. So as you know for 2019 I am an Exuvian's partner. So for today since today is exfoliation day I actually started with the which I didn't do on camera because I have to have a sink. So what I've done is I have done the performance peel pads AP 25 from Exuvian. So it's two steps as you know. The first step is the glycolic uh, kind of gentle peel, exfoliating peel that you put all over the face. You leave it on for a few minutes, neutralize it, and then wash it off. That is what I have done. That's how I really, you know, keep that texture at bay and I do these about once a week. Um, maybe once or twice a week in the in winter. I've been noticing that I need a little bit more exfoliation. So, and so I have already done that and it does give a beautiful glow to the skin just because of that refining qualities of those acids. Um, and just so you guys know, if you guys go to exuvians.com, I have 30% off code. It's not affiliate, um, but the code will be in the description box and you can get 30% off of those as well as my other product I'm going to tell you about. And then what I've done is I have already applied my essence. So I have gone in with uh, my Cosarx uh, Snail Mucin Essence. And that is what I have on my skin. My skin is feeling a little bit dry today, so that's why I'm giving you a little extra TLC. All right. Then I'm going to go in with my uh, Lemieux TGF Booster. So this is my Growth Factor Serum. And then for today, I think I'm going to leave it at that. And then I'm actually going to apply, because um, you guys have asked me when I talked about this in my video a few weeks ago, the um, Exuvian's Wrinkle Smooth Topical Peptide filled with peptides. It's uh, plumping to the skin. So I, you all, you all asked me how I do it. And so I'll show you how I do it. Um, and just so you know, it comes with two in the pack. And then with my code, you can get your 30% off. And if you should go, well, I'll, I'll link that video in the description box. This is what I use. Um, you guys can see the before and afters when people have used this product. So right here I have a stubborn line. So I'm just going to pop that right here. It plumps up the skin. So it gives that beautiful kind of optical illusion of having a more flatter surface. It does have optical blurring properties as well. So it does do that kind of blurring. And I use it right over here around my crow's feet. And you can see I'm just tapping it in. And the reason why I'm doing that is because you want to really push this product into the skin or the areas of the face that you want to target so it can do its job just like that. And makeup goes on really beautifully over it. And then here's a little bit more. And I like to put it right here in between my eyes around that 111 line that I just don't love. And again, just tapping, 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 tapping. And it feels like a cream, so it's not sticky or anything like that. It feels really, really kind of hydrating and nourishing. It goes right into the skin. And it's really as simple as that. That is it. Um, so I'm going to let this kind of sit on the skin for a few minutes because you want to do that before you put your moisturizer on or your SPF. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to use my eye primer. This is the Urban Decay. It's the primer potion. So we're going to have fun today. And we're also going to chit chat. We're going to kind of this, you know, this probably would be a, like a really nice holiday party eye or a New Year's Eve look, to be honest with you, because we're going to go a little sparkly, but like sophisticated sparkle. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so while that is sitting there and doing its and doing its thing, I am going to take my Josie Moran uh, SPF and pop that all over the skin. And over where I've applied that Exuvians, I just kind of uh, tap the product over it. Okay, so now that's all on. We have a really nice hydrating glow going on. I love that product. Um, we want to let that all sit in. So we're going to go in with our eyes. We're going to have so much fun, you guys, today. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a black 
eyeliner. Pick your favorite. It doesn't matter. This is by Pop Beauty. It's just, you know, one from the drugstore. So pick your favorite. We're going to start with a little bit something different today. We are going to do we are going to do this technique where we smudge out our eyeliner. So we're going to start lining the eye pretty messily. And we're going to really make sure we're getting right down to that lash line. And then don't bring it all the way in. And then you want to take from the outside of your eye and kind of kick this up gently. Like so. Take your pencil brush. This is just a Zoeva pencil brush. Uh, pick your favorite. I'm going to smudge this out into a kind of smoky, non-defined line. And I'm not going past the socket right here yet, okay? And I'm going to bring this in just a little bit. My eye is open. And then I'm going to bring it right on the socket line, not up yet. And I'm going to bring it right on the socket line. I am not distributing any more product. This is literally just the eyeliner on a brush that has nothing on it. And I'm pulling it in. So for me, I want the depth to be a little bit more intense. So I'm going to do the same process once again. And this is how you get a little bit more of a flawless blended eye is when you go, I'm wiping my, my brush off in between, by the way, I have a towel down here, but this is how you get a little bit more of a blended effect is when you really work in layers. And don't add too much product all at once. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with uh, Lady Gaga's um, Lady Gaga's House Laboratories Liquid Eyeliner, and I'm just going to define this line a little bit more. And did you know you can also blend out liquid eyeliner if you work quickly enough? The reason being is I really want this base of this lash line to be really nice and saturated. Don't worry, we're going to clean all this up. I know that it can have a tendency to look messy right here. And sometimes when things look messy, don't be overly concerned at that moment because you're going to be doing more blending. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking a more precise brush. This is a Sigma E25 brush. And I'm actually, I've been playing with this palette a lot. This is the new Too Faced palette that I got on PR uh, called the Gingerbread Extra Spicy. And I'm going to pop into this dark shade here called Midnight Snack on that more dense brush. And I'm going to tap it on the outside corner here. Tap, 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 tap. Short strokes into the crease. You want a lot more depth of color here. Don't blend. This is not a blending brush. This is just a placement brush. Bring it along the lash line a little bit so you can get that really nice, soft, smoky look. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to blend. You're going to take your favorite blending brush. This is just the E, a Sigma E40 brush. Have nothing on it. Stick it in the crease. Stick it in your socket right here and start to um, use circular motions, windshield wiper motions, circular motions, windshield wiper motions. And this is how you get the product to distribute up onto this brow bone without it looking like it's one hazy shade of color. It's a really great blending technique. And I'm just doing this until I'm happy with where the shading is. Okay, for me, I'm going to deposit a little bit more color of that same color. I want a little bit more intensity. And blend. So do you see how softly that is blended now? Instead of it being one kind of stark line, it's really nice and blended. And you can sit here for however you want to sit here and blend away till your heart's content. So here we are, perfect. So again, I'm just gonna go in and I'm just going to intensify this uh, lash line. I'm going in a little bit more now. And I'm gonna tight line right underneath those lashes. 
All right, so here we are. Now, if you wanted to still intensify this crease out here, you can take the same color, we're using the exact same color. Midnight Snap, we've only used one color. Pick your favorite. This is kind of like a rusty chocolate brown. Just pop it on your pencil brush and deposit color right here. So the outside corner is nice and intense. Take your bl blending brush that has nothing on it. Circular motions. Windshield wiper motions, circular motions, windshield wiper motions. And this way it'll kind of kick out a little bit more to the side. And there we go. Now, for the piece of resistance. <laughs> I love these. I've been playing with these. These are by Smith & Colt. And these are like metallic, uh, they're what are they called? Metallic shift eyeshadows. And they sent these to me in PR. This one's in bronze. But I saw it on their Instagram, how they use these. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to use these. So I'm going right here. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Just pick a, you know, your favorite nothing brush, you know, there's nothing on it. And I'm just going to blend this out a little bit. You can actually use these as liners too. So if you don't want this all over the lid look, you can also use it as a liner. I mean, get out of town. It's so pretty. And then I like to just go in with a blending brush to make sure those lines are nice and tight. Perfection. And you know what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of a twist today. Um, I'm going to curl the lashes and then <laughs> we are going to use a green mascara because I think it's fun. This is the new one from L'Oreal, Voluminous Original, and this is in S702. It's a really deep, beautiful kind of hunter green. This is just going to really um, give definition to the lashes, but also when the color, when the mascara has a hint of color, it will intensify your eye color. Now, it won't, might not be completely visible to anybody's eye, but it really will play um, your, up your color of your eye, even if you have blue eyes or, you know, hazel eyes or whatever it is. So I have hazel green eyes, so it's going to really intensify that natural color of my eye. And I'm going to really pack this on today. I love color mascara. <laughs> yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the rest of the other eye, and I'll be right back. All right, so the eyes are done. Um, I'm not going to apply any primer today. So I'm just going to go in with, you know, I'm obsessed. I know, I'm sorry. Um, but this is like my favorite go-to foundation right now. It's a Smith & Cole Veiled Threat Weightless Micro Blurring Foundation because I don't need to set this bad boy. And I've been actually applying it with a uh, dry sponge just because I think it's fun and different. All right, so how was my trip to Michigan, you might ask? It actually was really, really, really good. We had a uh, great time. You know, we were there for nine days uh, with his family. They are in Kalamazoo, and we had a nice time. We were definitely, you know, ready to come home, but not for any reason, just to like get back to, you know, our routine and all of that good stuff. Um, Gray was ready to go back to school, but then whenever she went and tried to go back to school on Monday, she's like, I don't want to go to school. You know, you've been out of school for so long, it's sometimes it's hard to get back to it. All right. Um, we have just begun the keto diet with Gray. It was, it's a slow, moving process to be honest with you um i feel a little bit overwhelmed um just to be super honest feel a little overwhelmed with all of it just because it's not a traditional keto like it's not um the 20 net carbs a day it's 10 net carbs a day which is extremely low um I am weighing most of the food just to make sure that I'm doing it right. Uh, we have to measure her ketones every morning and every night. Uh, that is an undertaking as well. I mean, it's not like super hard. Obviously, it's just in her like urine, but um, it's just annoying, you know, to have to get ready. But I'm really crossing my fingers that this works because we have had an uptick in seizures recently. 
we've had to up her medication. It's just been, it's been a little bit of a tough go. I'm going to set this with a, uh, or um, yeah, set it with the Smith & Colt Instant Recall. It's the powder setting spray that I love. Um, that way I don't have to use any powder. You know, uptick in seizures sucks, but I'm finding a lot of inspiration from other, this is the Juvia's uh, Place concealer, but I'm finding a lot of inspiration from other people online, like on Instagram, there's a lot of moms out there that are doing this. There is one mom that's really inspirational that honestly, I would never have found if it wasn't for you guys. I mean, honestly, my whole like journey, like a lot of my journey with this process has been through recommendations from you guys. Like I cannot tell you how grateful and thankful I am that you guys send me, you know, emails with, you know, kind words or, you know, like, hey, you should check out this person on Instagram because, you know, they're doing the same thing for their kid. This mom is so inspirational. You guys should go follow her if you're going through the same situation. It's called My Keto Kid. And her daughter, I believe, her name is Reese, um, and I forget how old is she is. I think she's like two and a half. They have a horrific story. I feel so bad for them. Um, just going in with my uh, powder from Hourglass. But um, they have a really kind of, in my opinion, emotional story. And But they've been doing keto. I, it actually, I think it, it, it hit, a, they're like exactly at a year right now. And she has been seizure free for, I think, nine or eight months. <sighs> Isn't that awesome? I, I'm like so excited for them. Like when you hear those types of success stories, you can't help but be hopeful for your situation. I'm just going in with the, sh um, the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow for a little bit of shaping and warming up the face. Um, yeah, so she actually is such an amazing resource. Her daughter is a grazer, so it's a little bit different than um, Gray. So, like, Gray likes, you know, specific meals and at certain times. But um, she's been really fantastic with some tidbits and apps and things like that. There's a drink that can be prescribed to them with that ups their fat, because I'm having a hard time getting enough fat in her diet. And... Um, I just got a prescription for that, so we're really excited to add that into her diet um, and see if we can up that fat intake. And um, so yeah, so if you guys are going through the same situation, follow her for sure. She's fantastic and such a nice, like, amazing human being. Amazing. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into the only color that we've used from this palette, this one right here, Midnight Snack, and just, and I, you know what, actually I'm going to use, I'm going to use, whoop, you know what else I'm going to use? I'm going to use Gingerbread Glam right here. I'm going to mix those two together just so they aren't too, like both too dark. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to smoke out this bottom lash. Yes. Um, so yeah, so that's what we have been going through. Um, and I'm just really crossing my fingers that it all, it, it works out, you know, staying positive, right? Staying positive. Um, we are though, I got the word that we are going to go to the Mayo Clinic at the end of February. And the reason being is I actually started my journey with the Mayo Clinic, um, trying to look into their services when this all first started when we first moved here, like seven months ago, same mascara. And um, it takes a long time. So if you guys are looking into the Mayo Clinic, it takes a long time to get all of your records there for the, um, what do they call them, practitioners? To look through your stuff. I mean, Gray's, um, Gray's what's it called? Uh, Gray's file is really big. Anyway, so I asked, they were like, oh, well, you, you can come in, this is the date. And I said, but I don't want to come in if I'm going to get the same, you know, like the same outcome that we got from her regular doctor. And she's like, well, the providers wouldn't ask you to come in if they didn't think that they could do something for you. So my fingers are crossed. We have to travel all the way to Minnesota, uh, Rochester, Minnesota to be exact. 
and so I'm hoping that it leads to something and I'm hoping that it's worth the, worth the trip because they also make you do a ton of other stuff. They make you like go in for another EEG, another MRI. Uh, she has another keto consult. Um, they want to take her into the monitoring unit, but I'll make sure that that I'm not doing that again. So anyway, but that'll be a conversation for them. So I'm applying this. This is the ambient lighting blush quad and it's the ghost hourglass palette. I thought I was getting the regular traditional ghost palette, but I apparently got the blush one. You know, I've been using this almost every day but and I took it with me on my trip to Michigan I mean it's fine and you know it's a good way to get um, all of the blushes in one but I don't know if I would have bought it if I already had since I already have all the other blushes um, does that make sense <laughs> and I feel like the palette really only works if you combine them all together so you like swirl them like this I actually tried to use some of them as eyeshadows and they just did not look great on me so for me this palette is not as versatile as maybe the regular traditional ghost palette or any of the other palettes they've ever put out so for me it was I was like kind of like oh I kind of wanted the traditional ghost palette but that's okay all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my lipstick and I'll be right back. All right, so um, I actually forgot I didn't do my brows, <laughs> but I did my brows. Anyway, that blush is kind of pretty though, but I don't know. I just feel like there's so many other ones out there like that anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Jeffree Star's Celebrity Skin and House Labs Lip Gloss in Venus. Anyway, so yeah, so that's a little bit of an update on us on gray besides that like what are your guys's holiday plans um my family is coming to stay with us for christmas i'm really excited uh it will be our first christmas in colorado and i'm really excited about that and we're really just excited to hopefully have a mellow quiet uh, Christmas they say that on um, the gloss they say that it takes uh, like two weeks to get into ketosis so I'm hoping that she will do it faster and we'll start to see some uh, really great results from it because I mean every time we up our meds we get two out two weeks or a week and a half of seizure free and then it just all starts to go to hell in the handbasket to be honest with you so anyway um, I w can't wait to hear what your plans are for the holidays. Please uh, comment below, share some holiday love with everybody. And if you're alone this holiday season, just know that I am thinking of you and this whole squad is, and we hold you in your arms and giving you a big internet hug and you are never alone and reach out to somebody if you need anything because you are never alone. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy this look. I love this. Though this stuff, by the way, stays on forever. I've, I've been, I've worn it a couple of times. It's gorgeous. It doesn't crease or anything like that. So yes, this is our look for today. All right, giveaway. So today I am giving away two twenty-five dollar gift certificates to either Sephora or Ulta. So I'm gonna pick two winners. You know, this is eighteen and up. You have to be subscribed to my channel. Tell me what you're most excited about the holidays, um, and that in forty-eight hours I'll let the winners know by responding to the comments. So make sure you're watching those comments. Um, and basically, you tell after you win, I'll contact you and you'll let me know if you prefer a Sephora one or an Ulta one because it probably depends upon. Um, if those are close to you. Now, if you are international, I just thought of this. If you're international, you probably don't have a Sephora or an Ulta. If you guys are international and have a Sephora or um, a Sephora or an Ulta, please let me know. I know Canada does. So I think that would be okay for Canada. So I'm sorry, but let me know. I'm going to give away those gift certificates to two lucky winners. Again, thank you so much for being a part of my life, my channel, and everything that I do. And I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love for me to you. Bye, loves.